peace of mind. I think this is around five pounds of the beef uh, biscuit. Just enough water to beef biscuit. Make sure it's a cold water. Don't put, don't put it in the bottle, bottle water. And we cut a piece of uh, ginger into it. So yeah, I think this is pretty good now and we can take it out and let it run into cold water. Let it cool down and uh, we'll chop it up. The beef has been uh, boiled, and uh, we have to cut it into even pieces. The size is to the a uh, keep, keep form. Uh, about this, compare with this. So the best size is like this. This is uneven, the middle is kind of thin, so we have to cut it like this. So we try to get it much even as possible. Now we have to cook daikon lopa. If you like more lopa, you can uh, add more into it. Cut like this, and then you turn. Turn the lopa. It's about the same compared with the meat. But you can add more lo no bar, but uh, I think it's good enough for us for today. Now we have to prepare the what you're going to put into the to make, make the beef. We need the uh, one cube of the red bean curd. Like it. One cube, bean sauce. This is the bean sauce. Like this. You get three six spoon. One. Two, three, okay. and this is another kind of a uh, bean sauce. This is a chi chi hao jiao. We need four teaspoon. Ah, uh, teaspoon. One, two. Three and very good. Four. So just finish it up. So we'll mix it all up. Good.
And also we need some herb to keep the nutmeg. Star anise, about four to five pieces. Cinnamon sticks, not too much. A small pieces, be good. And a piece of uh, ginger, and we crush them. Nutmeg we crack it up as well. Mandarin orange peel. About that, not too much. If it's too much, then uh, it will be a, a taste of a bitty. Not too hot, okay. Now we toss the rice garlic into it. Slowly roast it. In the not not too high. So I try to bury it, and 
and all the Nova, the Daikon is underneath the bit because later on when the Daikon is almost done then we have to take it out and let the beef uh, stew until it's cooked. Now let it uh, boil for a couple of minutes. And now we have to put some uh, rock sugar in. It's about two ounces here. After two minutes, we will crank it down to the low slowest until the daikon is not the low lowest done. Then we cover it up. Let it slowly cook. Now you can smell the lopa. So uh, it's is very good, and uh, we can take get them out. It's almost falling apart. So after it cook, it's strong a lot. Now we cut it, let it slowly cook until the beef is uh, all nice and tender. It takes about three hours. Now it's after three hours of slow cook and then the beef will be very nice and uh, tender and then also they are not uh, falling apart. See like this. It will be another half an hour then I can uh, shut it off. So give it another half an hour. The low bar, the daikon is uh, all separate so that it won't uh, cover it all together and at the end it is all melted and you won't see any of this after a long time and every time you need any of that you just uh, pull it out and fold it out and uh, heat it up it's just going to be another good dishes